it's Mrs. Oaks and Leonard coming at you with some math. I hope you're ready for this. So grab your pencil and a booklet and turn on your math brain and let's get started. All right, grade two and three, let's get started. So today is Thursday. We're working through the measurement strand of um, our math curriculum. And it's saying we're going to just go through these and answer the questions. So circle the better estimate for the distance between schools. Now, I know our... Let's think our elementary school and maybe Dugald Elementary School. I know that we have a unique situation where our schools, our middle school and our SCI, they're very close together. You could probably measure it in meters, but think um, the distance between Oak Bank Elementary and Dugald Elementary would probably be measured in kilometers. Anywhere that you have to drive in your car is usually measured in kilometers because that's uh, a bigger unit of measure. You could, if you were going to go between um, SCI and OBE, like the high school and the elementary school, you could probably do meters. But let's pretend they're talking about Dougald School and Oak Bank School, and that would be measured in kilometers. Okay, how many minutes are between 8.30 and 8.45? So they drew a handy dandy little timeline here for us, so let's just count by fives. So 8.30, this is plus 5 to 8.35, plus 5 to 8.40, and plus 5 to 8.45. So let's count by fives. 5, 10, 15. There are 15 minutes. All right. Find the perimeter and the area of the shaded shape. So remember, perimeter, when you're measuring the perimeter, you're going, I'm just going to cover this up so it's less distracting for your eyes. When you're measuring the perimeter, you're looking around the outside, like the perimeter highway that goes outside, all the way around the outside of Winnipeg. When you're measuring the area, you're trying to, it says right here square units, you figure out how many squares. So how many around the outside? Let's count. One two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have three here. And then again, there'll be four here and three here. So you could count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay. You could also do math. So you could do two lengths and two widths. So four plus four is eight and three plus three is six, okay, and you could add all of those together. So eight, I'm gonna zoom in a bit because I realize you can probably not see my tiny writing. Eight plus six, eight plus six, double six is 12, and two more is 14. I could also count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. It's 14 units, you get the same either way. I'm just showing you the way to work it out. If you ever had one that you couldn't count, Okay, the area of square units, again, it's length times width. I'm not going to go into that because we haven't covered um, that part of geometry yet or measurement. We will get into it, though. Don't worry. So let's count all the squares. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 square units. Number four, how many months in a year? 100 months? No. Oh. I guess I should zoom out so you can actually see what I'm talking about here. 100 months? No. 12 months? Why, yes. 20 months? Nuh-uh. 12 months is our best answer to how many months are in a year. Okay, on to the next part. Grade 2 and grade 3 today. Let's see if I'll get my best camera angle, move my stack of books, and we are going to figure out, we're going to skip count by three and highlight the numbers. Now, you might not have a highlighter. I'm actually just going to use a purple pen because why not, right? Um, and we're going to go through and we're just going to skip count by threes. Now, we've done this skip counting by twos before and we're going to skip count by threes right now. So, if we start at three, so count with me. Three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, one, two, three, 21, one, two. I'm just gonna start showing you how I'm doing it. So you're not, you're going 
one, two, circling the third, right? You're not doing one, two, three, and circling them. You're highlighting every third number. So one, you're gonna count one, two, and circle the third. One, two, and circle the third, or highlight it. One, two, circle the third, okay? That confuses kids sometimes, because they're like, should there be three in between? Blah, blah, blah every third number, because we're skip counting. Let's start again. Three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30, 33, 36, 39, and then 42, 45, 48, 51. Do you see how the pattern's kind of repeating itself here? You can kind of start to see a pattern. 51, okay, 54, 57, 60, 63, 66, 69, 72, 75, 78, 82. Oh, wait, that's wrong. One, two, circle the third. 81, I was gonna say, wait a second, that doesn't follow my pattern. Don't listen to this one. It's 81. Pretend that's not there. 84. Even teachers make mistakes. 87. 90. 93. 96. 99. You did it. Cover that up. You did it. <laughs> so now I want you to pause the video. I want you to go back and I just want you to practice counting by threes. And you could even just go to 60. So you're going to pause the video and you're going to go 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30, 33, 36, 39, 42, 45, 48, 51, 54, 57, 60. Actually, you guys, just practice skip counting from, by threes to 30. Do that a few times. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30. Count by threes. 3, 6, 9, 12... 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30. Count by threes. Three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30. Count by threes. Go practice that. It's gonna make your life way easier if you can count by threes. So pause the video and count by threes. I will try to remember to give you a reminder at the end of the video to go practice counting by threes. Okay, on that note, let's move to the next page, shall we? All right. So it's telling me, I'm going to zoom out a bit. It says, when we change the order of the factors, the product stays the same. So remember, factor, factor, product. And remember how we practice this? We practice this for a whole week. How you actually practice this even in class too. But we've been practicing this. Um, and it says, 3 times 4 is 12. And if I turn that over, I have four times, so three times four, I've got, this way it goes four, one, two, three groups of four. Now if I turn it this way, I have groups of three. I have four, one, two, three, four groups of three, right? But it doesn't change my number. So that's all we're doing. So three times two, let's do that one together my board and my eraser three times two so I'm gonna draw it out because this is a this is a new skill so three times two I'm gonna draw it in array one two three one two three three times two is count them up six okay so it's asked me what it is. Three times two is six. And then all we're gonna do is we're gonna pretend that we're flipping our array. Here's our array. We're gonna flip it on, our, on its side. So now it's two times three is six. Okay, on to the next. It's three times seven, my favorite three times table. So let's make my array three times seven. So. I have one, two, three, one, two, three, and I'm going to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm not sure if my camera's catching that. Yes, it is. And now I'm going to fill in my array. 
And if you practice counting by threes, this next part will be easy for you. Let's count by threes together. I'm going to write the total just to make this easier. So three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21. So three times seven is 21, right? Because again, we're just adding groups of. That's three plus three plus three plus three plus three plus three plus three gets annoying to write. So that's why we came up with this little handy dandy X, which just means the same thing. Three times seven is 21. So back to our paper, three times seven is 21. It's the same as seven times three is 21. They're the same, same, same. Okay, this next one's super easy, guys. We're not even gonna draw an array because we have groups of zero. It's always zero. Zero times three is still zero right? I have nothing to draw for my array. They're groups, they're zero groups or groups of zero. Okay, my next one, three times four. I'm going to draw my array to help you guys understand what I'm doing here. Three times four. So I have a group of three and I'm going to have four groups of those. So one, two, three, four. Let's fill in my array. array is a little wonky that's okay so this is an array for three times four and let's count by threes to figure it out three six nine twelve three times four is twelve again it's just like saying three plus three plus three plus three that's just a lot of extra writing that we don't need so we're gonna go back to our worksheet we're right here three times four three times four is twelve if I flip my array on its side, four times three is 12. All right, let's draw my next one. I'm not drawing an array for three times one. What's one group of three, guys? You don't need to draw an array for that. One group of three is three. Same as one group of three is three. Okay, three times six, I will draw you an array for that because it's helpful. Three times six. So we have three. One, two, three, and we're gonna draw six groups. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then my second one, my group, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oopsie. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so this is my array for three times six. So let's count by threes. Three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18. Oh, three times six is 18. Now if I turn it on its side, ooh, I just got pen on my lamp. <laughs> if I turn it on, my, on its side, I have groups of six. So I have one, two, three groups of six is also, also 18. So three times six is 18, but six groups of three is also 18, okay? All right, three times 10. So I'm gonna draw my array a little differently right now. Three times 10, so three groups of 10. So I've got one group of 10. One, two, three, and then times 10. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whew, this is a lot of dots to draw. Okay, my dots might not be all the same size. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This barely follows my rules of an array. I'm actually going to make these smaller because I'm embarrassed about my dot drawing here. Okay, so let's count by threes together. Ready for this? Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one, twenty-four, twenty-seven, thirty. So three times ten is 30 and 10 times 3 is 30. 
because if I turn it on its side, it does not change the number of dots, right? That's all we're doing when we flip them with this commutative property. So let's write it out. Got lots of hens on the go here. Three times 10 is 30. 10 times three is 30. Okay, next one. Three times five. Now I could just count by fives, but I like illustrating this for you. So one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Now what did I mean by just could count by fives? You guys are expert counting by fivers. So let's count. Five, 10, 15. Okay, counting by fives. Now I'm gonna count by threes. Let's try that. Three, six, nine, 12, 15. Now if I count by fives, it's five, 10, 15. But we get 15 both times with our total. And so three times five is 15. And five times three is 15. They're the same, right? Turn my array either way. My dancing array. So let's write it in here. Three times five is 15. Five times three is 15. Oh yeah, let's move on to three times nine. Are you sick of my voice yet? <laughs> my silly voices. Three times nine. So let's draw it. I've got three and I'm gonna make nine groups of it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so I have, again, my big, my top ones always look bigger. That's better, less distracting. We're gonna count by a threes. Three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27. Sound good? Seven, 27. All right, so three times nine is 27. Now, if I turn it on its side and I have groups of nine, nine times three, I ran out of room, but it's also 27. Not 24, 27, okay? Okie dokie, let's write that down, shall we? Three times nine is 27. Nine times three is 27. They're both 27. Okay, oh my goodness. I'm gonna draw a lot of dots here, guys. Um, but I hope this is helping you get it, to see it written out. So the next one is three times 11. So I'm gonna make my groups of three. Dot, dot, dot. And now I'm gonna make 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Let's count, I have them right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. In my robot voice. Now let's go through and make our array. Two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. All right, there's my array. Ready for this? Let's count. Three. This marker is on its way out. Six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one, twenty-four, twenty-seven, thirty. 33! So three times 11 is 33. Remember, turn it on its side, 11 times three is still 33. So three times 11 is 33. 11 times three, if we turn that array on its side, it doesn't change the product, is still 33. All right, two more to do, guys. You know what we're gonna do, three times eight. We're going to draw an array and we're gonna look at it two ways. So one, two, three, and we're gonna do, it's three times eight. So I'm gonna write that up here, three times eight. Now let's go one, two, three, and I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's go through and just looking for a better marker, but I'm just gonna commit to this fraying marker. Let's count three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24. Three times eight is 24. If I turn it on its side, eight times three is also 24 because it does not change, right? The number doesn't change. Same number of dots, same number of dots. There you go. Okay, so three times eight is 24. And then eight times three is also 24. Oh, that's so lovely. All right, let's do the last one, three times 12. And then you're free from my silly voices for the rest of the day, unless you haven't done your comprehension yet, in which case I'm sure there's plenty of silly voices over there. Three times 12, so let's draw it out. One, two, three. And we're gonna do 12, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so now I have groups of three. Let's count by threes and go. Three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30, 33, and then three more is 36, okay? So that's why I had you practice the pattern just to 30. You could even just go to 36 because that's times 12. It's as high as you're gonna have to go in elementary school. So practice counting by threes, guys. So three times 12 is 36. 12 times three is also 36. Three times 12 is 30. Six, 12 times three is also 36. Does not change. Okay, now I have a little problem here. I lied, you still have to hear my voice for a second. This is like a real world problem in my life right now because my Audie, Audrey, is almost three. She's turning three in a few weeks. She is very excited. And my problem of the day is Audrey, is turning three years old. For her party, she wants to have 10 balloons for every year of her life. How many balloons will she have in total? So she's three years old and she wants to have times 10 balloons for every year of her life, three times 10. Well, we just did that. Three times 10 is 30. You don't need to draw an array and figure out every time if you know your facts. Three times 10 is 30 here is gonna be three times 10 is 30 here is gonna be three times 10 if I draw an array. So I need to somehow find 30 balloons for Miss Audrey's birthday, okay? So she's turning three for her party. She wants to have 10 balloons for every year of her life. How many balloons in total? Three times 10, 30 balloons. For Miss Audrina. All right, there you go. I hope that's helpful. Made you a little bit less confused about your math today. I hope that was helpful. I hope that if you were stuck, that video went you go made you go, oh yeah, I know how to do this. Um, or if you knew what you were doing, that video made you go, oh yeah, I know how to do this. <laughs> Either way, that's awesome. I can't wait to see you tomorrow for more math. Send me a message and let me know how it's going out there in Dojo Land. And um, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow.